What am I here for? Lube. <laughs> it's not what it looks like though. This lube is for my car, not for my future girlfriend. Yeah, just to ease the, the pressure off. Like, you know. Today's project, the 240. Not just any kind of day. So if you watched any of my previous videos, it is usually at my house. What I'm gonna do today is go to my outdoor workout spot, bring all the tools there, and work on the 240. We need tools though. First things first, I'm gonna get some tools that I will need. Torque wrench. A 19 socket. I believe this is the right one. And for sure, Allen, oh, Allen keys. <laughs> Luckily for you guys, this video is a two-in-one. Pretty sure you guys will be happy about that. Now that I got all the tools that I believe I need to install this steering wheel and this shift knob special thanks to Fina for giving me this shift knob it was made with love and care and I greatly appreciate it this is a custom shift knob so for all you asking where you get it if you are wondering you'd have to get it made somewhere who knows though maybe he'll start his own business and start selling them as for the steering wheel I got a Nardi this is an overall classic steering wheel that I I think we'll go well with the shift knob. Bye, Gina. Finally here, time to get to the installs. Before we get to anything, let's take a look at what I already have. This is a Tomei shift knob. I don't know if it's real. The thing is about this shift knob it is probably three times as lighter as the new one over there and i have a feeling that tomei the brand would not make this light of a shift knob like this is nothing i don't even think it's metal the new one oh my god is pretty heavy i wish i could show you guys how heavy it is sadly i can't Here's the old one. It looks cool. Quality isn't quite there though. Yeah. For the steering wheel setup, I have a Grip Royal steering wheel that came with the car and NRG quick release. With my cars, I am not too fond of quick releases. They kind of stick out way too much than I need it to. So that's where my new one comes into play. Oh God, my camera. Yeah, steering wheel comes off. No real reason for it to do that though. Let's see. If I go ahead and compare the steering wheels, and place it on lightly on my paint. This one is significantly smaller. Just from what I could see, I, I'm positive that this is a 330 millimeter, um, somewhere around 350, 340 millimeters right here. Yeah, smaller steering wheel, I love it. Honestly, these look pretty identical style-wise. I know Nardi is more original than Grip Royal or NRG. That's why everyone usually opts for this one. You know at first when I was new to steering wheels and all that, I thought that NRG, the brand, and Nardi were the same. I guess not. Comment if you guys came into that issue too. NRG and this one is Nardi. They have a couple steering wheels that are pretty much identical. Anyways.
This is gonna be way harder than I thought. I came into an issue. So I have no leverage to get this off. With a stock steering wheel, you have the whole steering wheel. You can bolt back in to get some leverage. I was struggling the longest time to get this off like by prying it with my fingers. That's not gonna work. So I realized I have a steering wheel right there. Bolt it on, shake it, and it'll come right out. Come on, it's stuck. Having a super hard time here. I will catch you guys once the steering wheel and hub is off. For now, I'm struggling. I finally did it. Oh. So, it took a good amount of force. <laughs> More than I expected. If you guys can see properly, I placed my foot all the way back behind the gas pedal. And I had my hands on the steering wheel where like the support's pretty good. And I just pushed like my mightiest strength. Got loose. For a second I got really scared because I didn't have the socket for these little bolts right here. Cause I thought it was Allen. Good thing that this horn button came off, so it's only one nut. Then I'm done. Oh my god. Oops. I did not know that horn worked. Huh? Steering wheel is all done. On to the shift knob. The thing about this custom shift knob is that it doesn't have any threads. What my friend Fina did was he got some rubber tubing so that it is tight enough to be squeezed on there. Although, it is super duper difficult to get it on there alone with no help. And the reason I went to Target in the beginning to get some lubricant, personal lubricant, is to hopefully Make it slide on super easy. <laughs> All right, first time using this. I am honestly gonna just squeeze it in there. Wait, why isn't it going? Oh, there's a seal. I'm gonna get the lube and put it on the shifter itself and the shift knob inside of it. So, oh god. It's like jelly. Put some in here. <laughs> okay. Got a good amount in there. I'm gonna uh, see if this even works. Oh my god all in there and then I'll push down all the way <laughs> I don't know how far it goes it does slip on and off pretty easily right now I'm assuming that the lube will dry out yes indeed I could have used WD-40 WD-40 I think tends to stay lubricated the whole time it's sprayed. That's why I thought this lube would eventually dry out, maybe in like a day or two. Oh man, this is cool. All of the interiors put together, and if you're having a hard time putting on your shift knob, don't mind getting personal lubricant. Quickly prepares you for intimacy and protects you for discomfort. This is not an ad, by the way. It was trying to be funny. I'm really bad at being funny, though. The lube worked like a charm, and now I have this sick-ass shift knob that I am in love with. Look how much longer it is. It feels way different, way heavier, and solid. Let's drive around the block, see how she feels. Oh my god. Dude. The steering wheel is crooked though. I have to 
push it over one notch. <gasps> Dude, this thing is the complete opposite of my G. My G is as short as possible, and the shift knob is pretty high. Well, that took longer than expected. I am blown away on how good both of them look together. This overall setup, in my opinion, looks way more quality and balanced, because, I don't know, the black on black look didn't really appeal to me. This car is starting to look like my semi-vision. It's like a budgeted version of what I want. What I'm starting to get used to with this car compared to the G2 is that the stuff I'm getting is for the most part used and has that wear to it. It seems to me like some people in the comment section are wondering like, oh, why would you buy wheels that are curbed or stuff like that but it really doesn't get to me so yeah I enjoy it here we are at Fitz <sighs> I get this too much yep I go to Phil's coffee for the tea I mean my name has tea in it so tea everything's all done I'm gonna hit my workout real quick and catch you guys when I'm done done with my workout super tired I did want to speak more about working out and being fit in general like I work out to stay semi healthy I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about if you stay in the same place for a long time it feels like you're not getting blood to places that should be getting blood that's why recently I have been trying to work out every day. I already know for everyone that's a tall order to take on. But I'm not talking about working out as in a full on workout. Well, I'm actually there right now. When I started though, I did like the minimum as possible. The fact that I showed up to the spot that I said I was, whether it's a gym or an outdoor gym, being there is what matters. Even if you get 10 push-ups done, or even five if you can't, do 10. How I think of it is if you can't even commit to one or two push-ups a day or any workout then how are you gonna get multiple sets done every single day consistently? While some exited the video already for those that are still here with me I want to challenge you guys and get you guys to commit to at least five reps of any workout a day. That's every day but it's a small order to take on. I'd prefer to go to a specific spot, not your house. It could be outside your house, not in your room though. If you guys are serious about this, take like five to 10 minutes out of your guys' day just to do this. Let me know how it goes for you. This strategy for me is helping at this moment. It's fairly challenging to get this into a daily habit. And what makes it worse that it is super easy to fall off of it too. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video. I am loving this interior. Oh.